welcome to our treehouse. I hope you're nice and comfortable here. Would you like some tea? I could put some on. It's no problem, you are our guest now. I don't know where Amelia is. I'm sure she said she was working this evening. I could put some tea on and it could be brewing while I look for her. Okay, I'll do that. You might want to prepare yourself for Amelia's quirky nature. I'll be right back. <laughs> Amelia? What are you doing? What is it? It's a new friend. A human friend. <gasps> My goblin. I'm not ready. Remember what we practiced. Just breathe deep breaths. <laughs> I'm really sorry. She gets this way sometimes. She, she just loves humans so much. She gets overexcited, you see. I'll go and get your tea. And I'll get you some water, okay, Amelia? Just sit. That's it. Deep breaths. Mm. Our friend here needs our help. That's why I brought them. Okay. Right. I won't be long. You must forgive me. It's been so long, so long since I've seen a human. I might have practiced. My name is Amelia. What is your name? Very, very nice to meet you. <clears throat> how, how can I help today? Is it for that bump on your head? Yes, I can see that you're wincing a little bit. It looks quite tender. If I made you an ointment already, do you remember what she used for it? Okay. Scaly fern. Right. Wood and enemy leaves. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm glad that she's brought you to me. Either tries, but she's not got the natural knack for medicine, you see. So we need something a little stronger. Yes, it's true that resources are very limited when you're out in the woods and she tries her best, um, I suppose. <laughs> but let me have a look in this book and see what, um, what we can use. Let me 
me see. Cuts and wounds. Turn your head slightly, please. Mm, okay. <sighs> think, Amelia, think. I'm sorry, my brain's going a million miles an hour. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> I don't know what's come over me. Excuse me. I'm looking in the wrong book. Let me see. This one. Okay. Could you turn your head to the other side, please? I, I don't know why I just asked you to do that. The, the wound is on the other side. doing now. Okay. Okay. Alright. So I can put these back now. That one there, that one on top. Okay. And we're gonna get some moss. Some lovely moss. Have you ever used moss before in this way? This is nice and fresh. Moss is great for healing it's very rich in zinc and other minerals like selenium, which helps wounds to heal very, very fast. Um, sphagnum moss can be used as a bandage even. Um, it can hold up to 22 times its own weight. <laughs> Very, very absorbent. Um, if you wanted to know that, I, I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm rambling. I'm just a little nervous. Of all my customers today, I was not expecting a human. <laughs> so we're just going to get a tiny little bit of this lovely moss. It's so nice and soft and smells lovely. It's it's not stinky at all. I'm sorry. Okay, so now we have our moss and now we need lavender. Yes. Lavender is very good. Have you used lavender before? Yes, it certainly does help with sleeping. That's very good, yes. I'm really impressed that you know that. From what I've heard, not many humans use plants and herbs anymore for remedies. Here we go. 
this is nice and dry. This smells wonderful too. Look at just a little of this. Wonderful lavender. Making me, making me a little sleepy, honestly. Feeling a little lightheaded anyway. Excuse me. Can't seem to stop sneezing. I think it's the lavender. Smells lovely. Okay, it's also very good for uh, insect bites too, um, and fairy bites, <laughs> which might be useful for you if they're after you. Once they have um, got a little taste, sometimes you you can't get rid of them. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much though. Nothing, nothing to worry about. Hmm. Oh. No, we we we're not trying to make you sleep today. Um, lavender is also an anti-inflammatory. So it will really help that bump on your head to go down. Okay. So mix that up a little bit. And now we need some St. John's wort, of course. It's good for everything. We can use the leaves and the petals. We can use all of this plant, the stems too, if you like. I hope I'm not boring you. That, that will be enough to make you go to sleep, honestly. It's me rambling on. Don't need the help of any lavender. Hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a million miles away today. The St. John's wort will help with skin irritation and will help to bring that uh, swelling right down uh, again, like the lavender. So I'm gonna put all of that into my persimmon water and we'll just grind that up okay and we're just using a little bit of each this time but I can always make more for you to take with you of course a little extra for the road As, as much as I can. I'm making such a mess already. I am um, a little bit shaky. <laughs> we'll grind that up as, as much as we can because a, a paste will be much easier to apply, of course. Make sure that there's no bigger 
segments in there so it's a nice smooth paste. I'm just going to add a little bit of this so that it's the right consistency. There we are, that's better. a little water from the swamp. Our friend Sprout brings some whenever he comes round for tea, which is quite often these days. I'm also going to use a little bit of this. This is sparkly slime from our slug friend Doug. Look this look. He's very, very shy, but incredibly sweet. It's, yes, a little unconventional, I know, but it's very, very good for cleaning wounds. You wouldn't think so, right? But Really, really good for any grazes. Um, yeah, it brings all of the dirt, any soil you might have, brings it right out. It's very good at cleaning and makes it very sparkly and a very nice, soft consistency. <laughs> yeah, we we actually repay Doug in salads. <laughs> he eats tons of leaves, my goblin. <sighs> I suppose it just makes sense. He's ten feet tall, almost. But goodness, he gets through them. <clears throat> I'm rambling again, I'm sorry. Here's your tea. Please be careful, it's piping hot. And your water, Amelia. I'll just put it here. Thanks, Avi. That's Sprite's teapot. <laughs> I'll have to put this away for next time he comes for tea. Just one moment. <laughs> oh, Amelia, your allergies. I thought they would have improved since last time. No, still here, it seems. No doubt caused by your garish choice in jewellery. Honestly, Ava, Heather is for medicine, not for wearing. But you always insist. You'd think I would have gotten used to your economical taste by now. Of course, it's my jewellery and not your musty perfume. I'm sure our friend here could smell you a mile off even before I brought them here. Oh please, Ava. I doubt it's anything of the sort. <sighs> Don't worry. I won't let her get anywhere near you with the purple flowers. Lest you leave looking like a hydrangea shrub. I'm sure I have some extra medicine for these allergies of mine. Somewhere along here. And I guess I could enjoy you for a little bit longer, sister. Plus, it's worth it to speak to you. I'll just go and grab some. Just one minute. Amelia. She doesn't like to admit it, but she's allergic to humans. She loves them, 
you, but she's allergic. Isn't that typical? How are you doing? I hope she's not being too overwhelming, <laughs> is she? Oh, good. She's just excited, is all. She was very happy about the potion she made for Sprite earlier. And so was he, it seems. He's been hopping about out there twice as high as he normally is. I can see him from the kitchen window. Okay, thank you, Ava. I think that's all we need from you today. Okay, I'll leave you now. Oh, Amelia, I almost forgot. I brought you some fairy dust. Good to see of our friend here. Oh, that is great. I got quite a lot. Thank you, Ava. I'll just leave it here on the table, okay? Are you hungry, by the way? I can make a nice salad. With lots of clovers, violets, marigolds. Oh, you're gonna love it. It'll be ready in no time. <clears throat> okay, Amelia, I'm going. Gosh. See you in a little while. It won't be long, but I will have to keep Doug the slug away. Once he smells all the leaves, he'll be on his way. I'll be very, very slowly. Here is a handkerchief for you, dear sister. I think you'll need it. That's better. I think... Fairy dust! This is so magnificent. It's a very rare ingredient. I'm so thrilled to have this in my collection again. Oh my goblin. There's so much in here. And all this came from you? No wonder you banged your head when you fell. They had you out cold. Such naughty little things. I'm going to add a few more bits to this potion. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Some of this dry moss as well. This has been aged. Fifty years. We need some more dry ingredients. Mm. Perhaps some chamomile. So you got caught by the furries. Mischief with wings, those things. <laughs> Where were you headed? You think you were heading north. How far north? Oh, it's just... You don't want to go too far north. Please ensure that you steer clear of Neverfern. You haven't heard of it? Oh, goblins, it's... It's a dark place. Sombre. 
just lingers in the air. The creatures that live there in those lands, they're different to us. They're wicked. Some are incredibly strange and mischievous. And not just like the fairies here. In far, far worse ways. You don't want to cross a vexling. If you find your way there, you might not find your way back again. So please be very, very careful. Don't fall for any of their tricks. Be aware. Promise me. Alright. Good. The mushrooms are delicious from the border of the lands, but they're not worth it. There is good reason that they're, they're in abundance. Nobody goes near. Okay. I don't mean to scare you, but I felt you should be warned. Now then, I think this is all done. I'm going to put a little of this into a pot for you and you can take it on your travels. time is it? Oh goblins. I forgot to send Ava off with Clover's order. I suppose she won't mind it being a little bit late and getting it tomorrow morning instead. It wasn't urgent. Well, actually she did say something about wanting someone to help her with a task. Would you be willing to continue your adventure over one more day? If you could drop off her order in the morning while you're on your way through, it would help Ava and myself so much. We're so busy these days. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. I just know that Clover will be very grateful too. <laughs> Thank you for that. How is your head feeling now? Better? A little? Okay. Put some of this on. Just leave it there for you. I'm so happy that I could help a human today. And I didn't sneeze all over you. Oh, it's certainly getting dark out, isn't it? It's been a long day for you as well, I'm sure. Do you have anywhere to stay tonight? You absolutely must stay here. We have a spare room and a lovely bed made from the most plush fluffy moss, of course, and the sheets from our silkworm friends. Oh, they are so, so soft and warm. Yes, you can stay here. 
it's safe and warm. You don't want to be out there tonight. Are you ready to eat now? I certainly am. And how about some more tea? Wonderful. Let's go and see Ava in the kitchen, I suppose. We can discuss the route to Clover's house as well, while we're eating. I'll take you through to the kitchen and then I'll come and clear up a little. Let's go get some dinner.